Hi, I'm Henrik Weinheim. I'm an e-learning consultant at the University of Copenhagen. I'm going to give you some ideas on how and why to do an online presentation that others can comment on. So why would I make an online presentation? Isn't it much better to make a presentation in class in front of the audience and get the feedback right away? And isn't production of online things too difficult? Won't it fail because of connection problems? Well, I would say there are good reasons to make an online presentation. You might, for example, prefer to do it online if the presentation in class would cost you a $500 airplane ticket. Or if your preferred audience would not all show up at the time of your presentation. You might think that you get better feedback if you could talk to and discuss the feedback right away. But in reality, it is often just one or two who raises the voice in class. Wouldn't it be better if many of your peers gave you constructive feedback? Not to mention having the feedback in writing. You might easily forget the advice you get in class if you don't note it down properly. So how do you do it? There are two ways of delivering the presentation. Synchronous is when you do the presentation at the same time as the listener is hearing and seeing your slides in another side. And asynchronous, that is like I'm doing it now. I have recorded my presentation on one day and you see it on another day, whatever time and place fits you best. I would strongly recommend the last option. Asynchronous presentation will give you most advantages to do the best presentation and get the best feedback. You should not make it as fancy as I do. A PowerPoint slideshow or similar with your voiceover is the fine way to do it. It's up to you if you want to add the video with your face using the webcam. The most important is that your voice comes through in good quality. The hardware you need is not much. Your computer, well, just a normal one, and preferably a headset with a microphone, although your built-in microphone may be good enough. And if you want also the webcam of your computer. There are plenty of softwares you can choose from but I will limit this presentation to a few ones. PowerPoint would often be the preferred tool for producing the basic slides with pictures and keywords you want to use for your presentation. But it is also a fine tool in itself to produce the online presentation. It has a built-in voice recording function so you can put your speak on and it will appear like this. As you may experience, some basic animation of the text and pictures is an advantage in online presentations. You may even add a small video in some of the slides if you like. In the end, you can save it as a video. The other type of recording I'll recommend is the screencast programs. Screencasting is at the same time to record all the things you do in a window on your screen and recording your speak on top of that. In the Screencast-O-Matic program, you can also add your webcam easily. It is kind of flexible when you want to show more programs than just PowerPoint. When you have done your recording, you can upload it to the Screencast-O-Matic site. When you have produced your online presentation, you can upload it, or upload a link to it in a forum in Absalon. Here your peers and supervisors can see the presentation when they have time. They can formulate their comments to you, so you can see it when you need it. And actually, there's a really simple option if you just want to speak to the camera. You can record a video directly in Absalon's discussion forum. You won't have the advantage of supplementing with keywords and pictures, and you can't edit the recording, but it's very easy. I have compiled a couple of pages to get you started, and if need be, you can find more information on the internet. I hope this video has convinced you to get started with online presentations. As I mentioned, there are many advantages for your project right now, but it's also a serious working tool for the future. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any doubts or trouble with it. Good luck with getting some better feedback to your project.